very first time I threw Megan, she landed perfectly. It was in that moment, I was actually so happy that I, I almost cried because it was such a, an epiphany and a realization of, first of all, that we were going to be really good, but also that... We are soulmates. We are soulmates on every single level. And um, maybe we didn't know it until we were partnered together um, through the sport of pair skating. We're sharing the most amazing experiences and there's nobody else I would want to share it with. We really started out as best friends and before I started skating with her, I was, I was so lost, not only in skating, but in my whole life. In that first week of skating with her, it was a realization that I really could get to where I always dreamed of going. He's kind of also like the yin to my yang and you know, like we balance each other so well and so comfortably. Like, I don't think there's another human being in the world that would have ever been able to balance me and center me the way that Eric has, has done. She makes achieving her goals and she makes working hard seem easy and fun. And sometimes I lose that perspective and I, I feel like this isn't fun anymore and the pain is too much and it's easy to wake up and just sort of let go of those emotions when I know that I'm going to skate with Megan and she's going to be there and she's going to get the 100% no matter what. I know when we step out on that ice, Eric is going to try his best and do his best. And he knows 100% that I'm gonna do the same thing. Like sometimes we hear these scores when we're standing on the ice and we look at each other like, how are we gonna score something higher than that? You know, like this is crazy. And then we tell each other like, I'm terrified. I'm so scared, I'm so nervous. And he's usually feeling the exact same. What if I had just lifted my shoulder a little bit more? What if I had just, smiled a little bit more and maybe like you know it could have these tiny little things can make the biggest differences he tells me we have to stay together we're in this together put the focus on ourselves do our best we also always let each other know that we want to feel proud when we finish our choreographers always enforce that feeling in us that if we feel proud of our effort when the music ends and the job that we've done then we're going to feel like it's a success no matter what the judges have decided our relationship with our choreographer and our coaches and especially with Julie with uh, the music it really is like a perfect storm that comes together to create those spectacular moments it's always a process of self-reflection and self-realization and we try to figure it out with her and then we try to bring it out of us on the ice and it's like we've had to claw our way to get to where we were it was never easy for us. I guess we just refused to stop clawing and now we're the ones that are left and we're the ones that have been able to reap all that success. When Megan and I hit that ending position last year at the World Championships, I just looked at her and I smiled and I, I just, all I could say was, I love you, thank you. That was all we can say to sum up. Uh, the emotions and the experience that we had just lived. I don't know if I'm ever gonna experience something like that ever again, even with whoever I end up like l living my life with, you know? To have an experience like that will have only ever really happened with Megan. Maybe <laughs> it's the universe that brought us together. I don't really know. When we step out on that ice, the last thing we always say is enjoy it. It's Megan and Eric's chemistry which may not be a romantic chemistry, it may not be a brother and sister type of chemistry, but it's special and it belongs only to us.